The judge, the judge has claimed a case of laryngitis. The judge claims she lost her voice and she's not able to hold the hearing this morning at all. Now, somehow she knows that tomorrow she'll have her voice back because she rescheduled the hearing for tomorrow. Tomorrow at 11 a.m. I appreciate everybody coming here. Um, this judge has done this to us before. It, Mark, will that help you? No, I, 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 this judge has done this to us before. Um, it shouldn't be a surprise to anybody. It's annoying, it's um, wrong. She knew how far uh, Amy had to fly to get here. She knew how far all of you had to drive, how far I had to drive to get here. It's 10 hours round trip for me and I'm going back home right now because my wife has a horse down. So I got to get back home. I will be back tomorrow. I'll leave at two in the morning and be back here tomorrow. What, what time tomorrow? 11 o'clock tomorrow. I'll be here tomorrow. Well, tomorrow I can leave off. at 3 30 because it's 11 o'clock instead of 10. So, so it is going to be tomorrow. It is supposed to, well, no, it's supposed to be tomorrow. Yeah. Um, the, the minute order hasn't come out yet. It, it should shortly, I don't know, Charles, what, a couple hours for the minute order, maybe? The clerks usually write them up. Um, they're usually released. At 8.30 in the morning. Okay. So. I got a lot of in order. Yeah. Uh, so that's it. But look, um, as, as in so many cases, the state has literally painted itself into a corner. They admit that they, they are not going to allow law-abiding citizens to exercise the Second Amendment. They admitted that in their filing. They admit that they have given authority to sheriffs and police chiefs to tell you who may exercise the Second Amendment and who may not. They admitted in the FOIA request that no one's ever been allowed to exercise the Second Amendment in public in California since it was banned in 2012 and 13. They admit they've never issued a permit, and I have that FOIA request. Um, they've basically admitted everything that we allege, uh, but it, don't expect justice from this court. Just don't, it, it'd be a mistake. We will not get justice from Judge Mueller. We fully expect to lose here, and we'll, we'll take our PI to the Ninth Circuit, but this is the first step. Uh, this is Charles Nichols, everybody. He's been fighting for nine years now. It was, I, I filed my case to be nine, I begin my ninth year in uh, November. Um, probably began a year before that preparing because you just can't write a complaint in the morning and yeah. and then follow it later that right and so charles has been fighting an open carry case for 10 years uh, yeah like yeah years. well that's what it takes to find liberty then that's what it takes and uh, I'm, I'm not going to quit i'll be back tomorrow morning like i said do not expect justice out of judge Mueller. it would be a mistake we know this judge we know she's intellectually lazy we know she's a Democratic operative. We know she'll do anything to get this case off her plate. She's just done that today. And so we're hopeful, though, that she'll make a mistake in open court, which she's done before, right? She said plenty of stupid things in open court, and we got them all in the CFR case. And that's the basis for our appeal. We have the preliminary injunction. Um, we're gonna go with it as far as we can go. So. If you can afford to help out, help out. If you can afford to come back tomorrow, please do. If you can't, I totally understand, and God bless you, and thank you for coming today. But this isn't our first rodeo. Just don't be surprised. And uh, you know what? Um, liberty in California is fleeting, and if we don't do something about it, no one will. So. Mark, can you please state the first part of the, the, what you said about her dismissing the case for today? I didn't get oh, she uh, claims she has laryngitis, so she rescheduled it for tomorrow. I don't know how she knows that she'll have her voice back tomorrow. Whenever I lose my voice, it's usually three or four days. So she, we could come back tomorrow and she could say, well, I still have laryngitis. Uh, and that's possible. You can't stop this kind of behavior. There is no recourse. We can't uh, file a grievance against her. It wouldn't go anywhere. There might be. I have not read the rules for this district. Mm -hmm. the local rules in the central district require a ruling on the motion within 120 days. And I, I, we've got, we'll we'll we've take got a look at that. Yeah. Here as well. And if the judge doesn't issue the 120 days to give notice, we've got 10 days to issue the ruling. Uh, after 10 days to the ruling, it goes to the um, chief judge 
to the district. Chief magistrate. Neither he signs the yeah. case or issues a ruling. Okay. So, so maybe there maybe there is some recourse, but not for us today. So thank you everybody. God bless you all and uh, Yeah, nothing's happening today.